Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor and welcome to my blog. Today's topic has to do with the prosecutors dropping charges against Dominique Strauss-Kahn. In the case, which has been highly publicized regarding the maid uh, who made allegations that she was sexually assaulted, uh, the prosecutors issued a 25-page document in court describing why they're dropping charges. In that document, they said, quote, they simply no longer have confidence beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty, unquote. Now that's different in New York. In Arizona, it would have been no reasonable likelihood of conviction as a standard. Prosecutors can say, look, we think we have probable cause to bring the charges. However, we have no reasonable likelihood of conviction. Uh, stating that they have no confidence beyond a reasonable doubt that they can, uh, that a defendant is guilty, I, I find that to be interesting. I wish that was the standard here in Arizona rather than I just don't think I can win. I, I like it that I'm not convinced beyond a reasonable doubt. I think that's a great standard. Now, in the formal dismissal which occurred in court, obviously Diallo, the, the victim, and her, her attorney, Kenneth Thompson, were very upset. Now, they said that she's been slandered and maligned. Now, the prosecutor in this case said that Diallo reportedly lied uh, both to the investigators and the grand jurors. Now, they stated that she had a phony tale of a previous rape, that nearly $60,000 had been moved in and out of her bank accounts by a gentleman who's here in Arizona awaiting trial on marijuana charges, and she told the prosecutors that she was not going to file a civil suit, that nobody was going to buy her, but then within three months she files a civil suit. Now that civil suit could still go forward in the Bronx and it will be interesting to see what happens. Her attorney, Kenneth Thompson, said that the district attorney, Cyrus Vance, had done a great disservice and basically bent under pressure, etc. I think that's ridiculous to, to say that about the prosecutor. If Kenneth Thompson, who was a former prosecutor, did any defense work, I'm sure he would say he would love to have this case as a defense attorney. It's so riddled with holes. Now, I guess the main, the main question here is, did she completely lie? Because they did find semen on her dress and they found Dominique Strauss-Kahn's DNA on her pantyhose and on her panties. That raises a lot of serious questions. So was there a sexual assault? Was this a consensual sexual relation? Or was this a contractual relation that was consensual? Who knows? I think because of her story changing so dramatically, especially being so convincingly uh, telling the tale that she was raped and that's why she got asylum into this country, I think it has a lot of holes, so I think they did the right thing by dismissing the case, but that's what I think. Tell me what you think.